the starting. <laughs> you did a good job putting your mic on almost. Dad, this, this kind of looks like he's fishy, Dad. A little bit. I, I just cut Hello. this part that would look like one. Oh, it kind of looks like a shark tail or something. The shark. Okay. All right, Elo, we're on the air now. No one can see, people can see us and hear us, but they can't see our faces yet. Daddy, the time is up. I know. We're going to get started. Don't worry, bud. Uh, Today we're going to use this computer. Wait, 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 really? We're going to look inside it today. That seems we can't throw that computer out. No, we're not going to throw it out. No, we're just going to open it up. I'm not going to throw it out, Elo. How dare you? What we never do that. You know who made this computer? Who? Mom. What, really? Mom made the computer when you were two or three years old. It was her first and only computer she's ever made. It's pretty cool, right? All right, we're on, Elo. <laughs> Good afternoon, everyone. Hi. Hi. Uh, welcome to week four. We done week four of Craft Computing Club. Um, I'm here with my favorite student, Elo, my son. Uh, we are going to be looking at circuit boards today. Um, last week, we made our, do you remember what these were called? Circuit boards. No, this is not a circuit board. Ah. This is a, it starts with a C. Circuit board, it's our C. Circuit board does start with a C. Now that's a CPU. Last week we made CPUs, and now we're going to look at the things that CPUs attach to. Okay, so let's take a look. All right. Sorry, guys. Kids at home. Let's take a look. Boom, boom. Okay. So, week four. We know CPUs are inside computers. We talked about that last week. Uh, and when we put on our x-ray goggles, we saw lots of other things inside of them. Mm -hmm. What might we find inside of this Nintendo Switch? Do you remember what the big thing is underneath? You said it earlier. Um, the big thing, you said it earlier. Circuit board. Circuit board. Woo, that's right, Elo, circuit board. X-ray goggles. So we'll find, we'll find lots of things in there. And not everything in here is a circuit board. That big. This big thing right here is a battery pack. That's a fan. We know the CPU's underneath that fan because they get really hot. But all this other stuff Ooh. over here. We got wires and things. Circuit boards, they look like a mess, right? One way you love to think about circuit boards is that circuit boards have many overlapping systems inside of them to make computers do their thing. And look, if we look inside the human body, we have our stomach, right? We have our stomach. When we eat food, where does it go? To our belly. To our belly, our stomach. So we have our digestive system. We also have our, what they call the circulatory system. That's below where our heart is. Our heart connects. And remember last week when we were looking at the, you were telling me about the veins in our mm -hmm. fingers. So our circulatory system brings blood all over our body. We also have this one. What is this one? Muscles. The muscular system. That helps us move our bones down here, the skeletal system. We also have the respiratory system. <gasps> That's where our lungs are. And then we have our nervous system where our brain is. We talked about that last week. Mm -hmm. So the CPU is kind of like the brain, but it has all these other things going on in the computer. Just like our body has all these other things going on, the computer does too. Let's look back at that circuit board for the switch. We can see here, this is just a piece of the circuit board. Um, and it's got an area over here. So this area right here that this is covering, that's just the memory. That's just the stuff that helps your computer think about what it's gonna do, like help it hold, remembers all the pictures and sounds on the screen. Over here, do you wanna guess what this is for? This little thing? No. 
You don't even want to guess? Yeah. Can you read this word? It's not one of your sight words, I'll tell you that much. Oh. Wi-Fi. Do you know what Wi-Fi is? No. Wi-Fi is the internet. It connects wirelessly. Um, so this is how we get on the internet with our switch. Um, we do that a lot when we play with your cousin. So this little chip here and all the little things around it are for Wi-Fi. Down here, this chip and all these little wires around it and little things. If we zoom in, we can see even closer. This Whoa. is the audio system. This is the audio system of the circuit board. So this is what makes the sounds. It doesn't have the speaker part. The speaker, I believe, connects here. But this chip is what helps make those sounds. Over here, this chip and the things leading to it are part of the storage system. And same with this PC. That's where the games go. That's also part of the storage system. But all of this is the storage system. That's where it saves stuff for the Switch. Like when we, we were talking about saving Animal Crossing so we don't lose our fish. Mm -hmm. Well, that is what helps us save. Over here, we've never used this part of the Switch. This is called Near Field Communication, NFC. And this is for the Amiibos. You ever, you, Owen has them. You know those little toys? They look like Mario figures and stuff. No. No. Owen has a few. But you're going to put these little toys next to your Switch, and the Switch knows the toy is there, and it will give you cool things in the games. And so this is used for that. This whole area over here is for near field communication. It's got lots of little things going on in there. We do more closer in. Enhance. Enhance. No, that's as close as we can get. Ah. Uh, I guess I could make the picture Whoa. bigger. Okay. You want me to make it even closer? Yeah. Here, let me do this. Let's see how close we are. We can't spend too much time getting closer because there are people watching though. But if we make that bigger, now we can get closer. Whoa. It kind of gets blurry though when we get close. But I want to get closer anyway because you can see you see these little like circles on here and then yeah. they look like little lines. Mm -hmm. This is how the electricity travels through the circuit board. Ooh. So it travels through these areas. Um, these are little connectors, kind of like you have USB connectors on a computer. This has a connector too. There's also little other microchips. This big one right here is the CPU. We talked about that last time. It says NVIDIA on it because NVIDIA is the company that makes the CPU. Typically CPUs have like names and stuff on them. Uh, this chip has some names on it too and some numbers. It even has a QR code. Uh, chips usually have names and numbers on them. And then there's always these lines. These little things here like capacitors and resistors and stuff like that that help the electricity travel in certain ways. Anyway, that's the inside of a switch. But all circuit boards kind of look something like this, where they've got lots of different systems connected together. Wi-Fi, audio, video, graphics, um, USB systems, uh, memory systems. Uh, what else? Um, cryptography systems for sharing secrets. Uh, like the iPhone has something called the security enclave, Elo. That's what detects when your fingerprints are pushing it. So it knows, it knows who you are and it helps keep secrets that way. So if we had time, we would sketch what's inside a computer. Do you want to sketch what's inside a computer? No. We're not going to sketch because we've got something better. We've got an actual computer. So while students are sketching at home, we're going to look inside this computer. I can't reach my keyboard now. Okay. We've got this computer here. And we are going to look at it with... I'm going to take mm. my camera off over here and we're going to zoom in. I don't know how well this is going to work. Oh, can I tell them... Um, so... Can I tell them my mom made this? Yeah, you're telling them that right now that your mom made it. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to take those screws off. Let me get the other camera uh, up. That thing you can now open it. Well, I can actually now see actually. Yeah, it actually has. Whoa. So you can actually see inside of it already. Yeah. If we're going to open it up. Because it's got a cool window on the front. So this is a computer. Not to open it. Miss Yudira built it. Um, so to open it up, you're just going to pull this and open it up, Elo. And let's look inside our computer. So here's our computer. It's got a very, so this big thing here is called a motherboard. And it's, it's actually pretty small for a motherboard because um, this is a tinier computer. 
But if you look inside... Wait, I can't see something really small in there. You can see lots of little tiny things. Look at inside the circuit board. Wait. Look, it's got names of parts and stuff. Wait, I can't see something. What do you see? It's too small. Don't touch it. Oh, that's a little button to reset the computer. That little button there. Ooh. Where did it go? It's hard to see with the camera. Um, oh. This little button right there resets something. Cool. Um, so it's got lots of little parts in here. Um, underneath what we talked about last week, underneath that fan is the CPU. Uh, there's another bigger fan over here. Let's see if we can take this one off. Wait, what? Wait, what? The side comes off too. What? What? Get out of town. Wait, can I, can I, um, can you change this thing? I can't see, but a little better. Change what? Um, can I move this this way? Sure. And look, we can take that off. And this has another fan right here. Underneath there is another kind of processor. Last week we talked about GPUs, the graphics processor. So that's the graphics processor. Oh God, what is that golden thing? Um, that is called a capacitor. That golden thing, I, you can see it on camera. Those are called capacitors. Those are golden caps. That I believe is part of the audio system on here actually. I'm going to uh, know. This, this motherboard, actually, I remember when I bought it, it's for gamers and it said it has golden caps and stuff like that for better sounding um, what's, audio. What are the really, really small dots in those? So most of those small dots are, whoops, got pulled out there for a moment. Most of those small dots in there, if we look, can you see them better now that I've zoomed in? Look on the screen, do you see them? Oh yeah. So those are little plug, those are areas where you can connect to the motherboard. Those are called jumpers. So you can put little pieces on there and they, it crosses the wires together. Those are called jumpers. Um, and those affect certain settings. Oh no, settings. Dad, look what, you just zoom so in. Do you see where it says TPM up there? Yeah. That is a security device, I believe, but we have nothing hooked up to our security device, so our computer's not very secure right now. It can't keep good secrets. <laughs> um, huh, it can't keep But yeah, there's a lot, so when we zoom in, those things are called jumpers. Um, let me see, I can't get one at an angle. Uh, but yeah, so that's the inside of this computer. And over the side here, I showed you was the Ooh. graphics card. Um, I can't take the back off, so I can't show you the other end. Um, I take the back the, off? I can't see. This is the back. Oh. It's really dusty in there, too, because that fan collects a lot of dust back here. Wait, I can't see the back over here. And no two giant fan over yeah, here. Yeah, that's to cool off the whole computer. That gets all the hot air out. Um, anyway, that's the inside of this computer. Ah, you can play with that until I turn it off, okay. which is right now. Done. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, so that was inside our computer. I hope some viewers at home got a chance to look at look at that and also sketch what they think is inside the computer. Um, okay, so where are we where are we at with this? Oh, we're gonna go back over here. All right. So computers, um, this is a tiny computer here called a, the Feather Huzzah. Uh, it's a circuit board, so it's a, it's a what they call a server on chip type computer. So it's like a, this whole thing is a computer. Um, it's a very tiny one. And that's a picture of the computer on the left. And on the right here is the schematic for, the, for it, and it shows the different systems. So this is the power and filtering system. And it shows the different systems that are on this chip, the power and filtering system, the SB8266 module, that's the chip right there. This is the SB, it says it right there, SB266 mod. So that's the chip and it shows you schematics about the chip. LiPo charging, this is for lithium power. LiPo charging, this tells you how the charging system works. This talks about the USB to serial converter, so how you can hook this chip up to other computers and, and talk to them. Um, so this is like a blueprint schematic on the side. And so that's just how, this is a professionally done schematic. Um, made here, right here in New York City. Okay. 
So circuit boards, we mentioned this earlier, often have symbols, numbers, and names in the boards to give more information about the board. Hilo, can you see any information about... Circuit board. Can you see any symbols on this board over here? Do you see any symbols on it? Wait a second. Give me some more. I can maybe see. Okay, what do you see? I see one right. Oh, I see one here. Oh yeah, there's those little arrows. There's actually little arrows a lot. Look, there's little arrows right here. There's an arrow. There's Wait, an arrow. Can I do main room so no, no, because we're running out of time. We still have to do our project. Remember this class, we only have 10 minutes left in this what? class. What? So there's also names on the chips. Like there's a name here. It's too tiny for us to see. Okay. There's also a name on this one that says BF. I don't know what that stands for. Maybe it's the best friend chip, but I don't think that's it. Can I get to This is can wireless I? and Bluetooth, so I bet that has something to do with Bluetooth. The B probably stands for blue. Nope, we're not ready yet. All right. And when you're designing circuit boards, a lot of times you use symbols. And so these are some of the symbols that are used when you're designing circuit boards. We're not going to use any of these today, but I thought it might be important to see in case you wanted to include any on your craft, CP, your craft circuit board today. So I know circuit boards, we saw a lot of those things we saw were capacitors, diodes, and resistors. And so here's a symbol for diode, capacitor, and resistor. Um, and when you're drawing a circuit, you would use these, drawing it on paper to show someone how you might make it. These are the symbols you would use. Rather than coming up with your own picture, people would use these pictures instead. There's also these gates here, AND gates, NAND gates, OR gates. These are, gates are actually really important in computer science. When we do Boolean expressions, when we do conditional statements like AND, OR, and NOT, these are the types of ways you would do it with a circuit board. Hands off, buddy. Hmm. Uh, so let's get to our activity. Activity, yeah. activity, activity. All right. Before the car was Last ready. week we made our CPUs. I showed ours earlier. For our, and these are all based off of the blueprint we did in the first week, um, or the sketch we made. And so here's a sketch I made for my not a box, or, or this is a sketch Elo made for his not a box system. It is about a computer that's going to, a computing device that's going to help scan sea creatures to figure out what kind of medicine to give them when they're sick. Mm -hmm. And so last week we made a CPU for it that looked like this, uh, which has pictures of coral reef on it. Um, and this week we're going to make a circuit board for that. So for our circuit board, you can use any paper you want. Uh, you want it to be sturdy though, and we've got a piece of a box here, so we're going to use a piece of this box. I'm going to cut the box a little bit though. Uh, Is that okay? Can I do it? Sure. I want to cut out my side. Okay, you cut I out a piece. This. Um, in class, we normally use a green piece of cardstock paper because circuit boards are typically green or blue. A lot of them are. Um, so this one would be... Uh, ours is going to be brown today because we're just using cardboard. Oh, it's, um, this is really strong to cut. That's through. why I was going to do it. And okay. how does cut out mine? There, that's too small. Your, it has to be bigger than your, your circuit board has to be bigger than your CPU. Your CPU has to fit on your circuit boards. I'll cut it out. I'll cut it out uh, nice and big. I, I'll cut it. Uh, I really want to. Okay. So we're going to cut out our circuit board and find a place for our CPU on it. Today we're going to use double-sided, I'm going to use double-sided tape. You can use glue or regular tape and just fold it over, whatever you what, want. This how big is it? Look, that's how big our circuit board is in there, right? And that's a real oh. computer. Oh yeah. Uh, look about this. Okay, so let this me get you, you let's this. get some tape. This is what you're going to look like. Aboob! Oh. Please don't yell into your mic, Elo. Hello. Okay, so do you want to use some of the double-sided tape? Yep. There's a piece. Mm -hmm. Let's pick a spot on your board for your chip. Right there. All right, so we're going to find a place on our circuit board. Use both pieces so it doesn't fall off. Usually the CPU is somewhere towards the middle because remember, the CPU is connected to everything. The right CPU is connected to everything. So normally it's somewhere near the middle. It doesn't really want to be on the edge. You want to put it there? So let's yeah. push that down. Let me get... Actually, can this. you see that on camera? Yeah, we can see that. 
This okay. is mine. So that's how you're going to set yours up. Okay. Now, Elo, we're going to add some pretend components to our board. A component is like oh, a part. Like, the, I mean, I was cutting out, I got these cool pieces. So think about other parts. Like, we had coral for our CPU, because coral's everywhere under, in, underwater. Yeah. Uh, where our sea creatures live. So, what are some other things that might be underwater to help our sea creatures? What might we have in there? Hmm. What might we have? What are some other underwater things? We have like seaweed, seaweed. we have oysters, Oyster rocks. we have rocks. Rocks? Mm -hmm. Oh, there could be rocks, yeah. Barnacles. <gasps> oh, yeah. And sunken ships and sunken ships yes okay so let's add which three parts should we add to our computer oh, okay which three parts should we add to our computer want do you want to do a sunken ship e. okay we can also draw it on paper elo it might be easier to draw it on paper and cut it out you only are going to have time for one, okay? Why one? Because this class isn't a very long class. Dad, I have to, I want to make my stove tiny. You don't want to make it too tiny. All right. I'm going to cut out some wires. For oh, our board. Actually, me too. Brown on brown. Nope, you're already doing the, you can only do one thing, Elo, and you're already doing one thing. Oh, I want to change my mind. I really want to do that. Okay, you want to cut out some wires? Yeah. Sure, I will make the pirate ship then. Okay, Elo, we have three minutes. Okay. Pirate ship. Pirate ships kind of look like speedy ships. Are you going to use tape? No, we're going to use glue. Okay. With that kind of glue, Dad? Dad, I doing it or you're doing it? How about we do it together? All right, okay. there's a pirate ship. You said a rock? What color should the rock be? Gray. The dark is Do we have a gray color in here? Uh, yeah. I do. Oh, heel. Take that one. Okay, we're going to add a rock. That the hot glue I need. That's not hot glue. That's just glue. Whoa, this glue. Be careful. No, don't use that. I need to help you with that. That's a special glue. It feels like rock. Please it, don't get it on your hands. It will right, never our, come maybe off. Maybe our uh, rock has some barnacles on it. I don't know if it's a rock. Barnacles are those little oh, yeah. barnacles. They're like those oh, little things yeah. that you see on rocks and wood and other things in the water. Okay, so we have some rocks. And what's another thing that might be in the water? That's okay, we now have we do the glue. Okay, let me cut my pieces out. Before we connect them all, we have to put them on the board. So where should we put the rock on the board? Oh. These are gonna like be our pretend parts. And let's put a battery power on our board. Oh, okay. Oh. I will I will make the Okay. So once we add that we have to pick out our components, which we're doing now. I don't know why you're cutting that out. Please don't cut anymore. Uh -huh. You're done with those. You picked your you picked your choice. Oh yeah. Why don't you waste it on my foam stickers? Mom's gonna get mad. Really Where's mad? my foam? Where's my foam? <laughs> okay. Um, we need a battery. Hold on. Let me draw a battery really quick. Uh, I want to see can I draw the battery. Everything needs power so it would probably make more sense to make this salt to make this water power. So instead of doing that, let's do a turbine, which looks kind of like a fan. Daddy, the hot glue. So we're gonna use a a turbine that gives it power. 
A turbine kind of looks like a flower. My huh? My gluing, Dad. I'm still waiting for my gluing. I know, we can't glue it until we have all these pieces on. Oh, that's means I will keep cut some more. Nope, wire. we're good. I finished mine. Okay. Uh -huh. So we've got, this is our turbine here for power. Um, we're just going to connect, maybe put that right here. Now we need to make these so they connect a little bit. So I'm going to put the glue down and then you put the, the yarn down, okay? Okay. You ready? Oh. And that, shot out at me. That thing gets on you, you will never ever get that thing off. Okay, well guess what, it's on me. Oh. This I, is fabric glue, I don't have regular glue for this kind of project. But we're using yarn, so fabric glue seems kind of appropriate. So do you want to put a piece of yarn right there? Mm-hmm. I'm going to connect these two together. Like that, okay. and then maybe I do another one that comes over here. Wait a second. I You're going to put yarn along each one where I put glue, so watch. I have to cut. We can just leave it there. We can cut it later. Do you see how I did that? Oh, yeah. Okay, so then we can cut this piece. Now I'm going to put my piece right here. And do you want to put another piece right there? Yeah. Just put it down and we'll cut it. it. Mom came up with this project with the yarn. Do you know that? No. I think mom secretly really loves computers. Even though. We still need something to connect to the CPU. Usually the CPU has lots of wires coming out of it. Let's do, let's do uh. this. Let's put some along the side here. Not everything needs to connect exactly to each other. So let's put some wires coming out of the side. Let's do three little pieces. Let's do it like this. Okay, do you want to put those two on and I'll cut mm -hmm. one more little one? There we go. I think that's it. Hilo, we're over by two minutes. Okay, so if you're following along at home, once you have your components, then you're going to add some traces to the board like we did here. We used yarn for ours. You can use puff paint if you have puff paint. You could use markers. Anything? You can use whatever you have but we used yarn. And here are some ones that students made in our classes where we used foam stickers. But here's the one we made here. Hold on, Elo. Here's ours today. So here's our circuit board now with our CPU on it. We've got our power over, over here, our turbine, so it runs off of water power. And then we've got a pirate ship and a rock with barnacles, which we're not sure what those are going to be yet, but it's all part of the medicine delivering computer for our robots. Or if not for our robot, for our, our computer. box computer. Um, over the next couple of weeks, we'll be adding more stuff to our box computer, but this circuit board is going to go inside of it. Um, so don't make it too big, um, but don't make it really small either. But make sure the parts you add, so you can make parts up or you can make parts that are based off of real things. Like if we look at, if we look at here, I, ha I have like a battery shape in here. I have a battery shape on here. But then you can also just use stars and stuff. Use your imagination. It's all fun, it's all in fun. So here is our circuit board for today. We're gonna save this for our not a box that we're gonna be working on some more next week. That's it for today, where we learned about circuit boards and CPUs. Good luck making yours at home.